Hello, this is SlickChannel20, and welcome back to Custom Car Builds, and in today's episode, we have the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. And the reason why I'm building this car is because when I built the Raptor in the last episode, all I could think of was the two most favorite cars I used in the Starter Horizon 3, which was the Raptor and the Koenigsegg 1 to 1, because I got it for free with the car pass. So yeah, I think I'm going to build it again to an S2 race car in this game too, because... Let's be honest, nothing will punch you in the face harder if it could than a Koenigsegg. So, yeah, I'm just going to see what the options are. You could put on race suspension still, which... I'm going to be honest, I don't really think you need. Like, this car already handles great. I'm going to give it the anti-roll bars just to save weight. Can I put weight out of it? No. What about a roll bar? No, that, that adds... that takes away from the PI. Alright, you can upgrade the transmission... And the clutch with only adding one PI. That's pretty good. Okay, what about widening the tires? Okay, adding... Actually, that, that isn't really that big of an increase, so I can see why it doesn't add any PI. But yeah, okay, the front one adds a lot. So I guess... Well, this is how I had it set up the last time. I had the wide front tires, but then I had a roll cage in it. But then that's still not 998. Hmm. Alright. Oh yeah, and I don't know why, but why don't Koenigseggs have race tires to be, like, stock? Because literally, it has 1300 horsepower, and it's the fastest car in the world. I don't think it has the same tires as a Corvette. I'm not just saying. Oh, and for rims, if I can... I think they're in this section. I am going to be using the rims I used in Horizon 3, if I can find them again. Because I kind of forget where they are. Nope. I bet you I'm going to pass them. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, I used these, and I don't know why, but I used these in Horizon 3, and they just kind of stuck with me on this car. Like, whenever I think of my code in Second Horizon 3, I think of these rims. I don't know why. It just really suits the car. And yeah, I guess I'm going to take the clutch out. Because, I mean, the car already shifts pretty quick. And now can I put a front tire on it? Yes, I can. And, yeah, look at that handling. It's almost 10. And this is from the second fastest car in the world, only getting beaten by its more aerodynamic, better top speed, but somehow has the same amount of power, younger brother, the Gear RS. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to throw those on it. And, wait, if I take off the rim, does that... No, it does not make it go to X-Class, but I could do it just to save weight. I could. Let me guess if I... No, it keeps it... S2, okay. Well, I'm confused. Because I took the clutch off to then allow me to put on the tire, and I want to go to X-Class... And I put the clutch back on after the tire, and it stays in S2. What the hell is actually wrong with this game? I mean, I'm not going to question it, so whatever. Anyway, I guess I let's bleh. I guess let's go to the paint booth and paint these rims and tint the windows, because that's all I want to do to this car, because it already looks good enough in the silver. And that's just, that's just my favorite color. Like, the black, it looks pretty okay. I just like the silver more. And I don't know why in this game it looks overly polished. Like, it looked a lot more dry in Horizon 3, if you could say that. And actually, I'm going to paint them carbon fiber, just because that's what they come stock. So, polished carbon fiber, and I guess fully tint the windows, because that's how I had in Horizon 3. So yeah, that is going to complete the build. Now it's time to drive around. Oh yeah, and in unrelated news, um, I think I'm not going to stream on Twitch anymore. I think I'm going to stream on YouTube Gaming starting maybe this week. Because I, I've tried to stream on Twitch. Like I pull viewers sometimes, and when I say sometimes, I mean like maybe once every stream. Okay, that That is annoying. Get the hell out of here, Forza Thought. I just made a video about you and why you're bad. I've updated your route to the Forza Thought Live event now. But, yeah, anyway, um, because when I do stream on Twitch, like, it's very rare that I actually get views, and 
like, I've seen people grow off YouTube gaming way, way more frequently than they do off Twitch gaming. Because, sure, Twitch gaming is probably better overall. But when you're starting out new there, like, nobody goes to your channel no matter what. And it's just kind of very down-putting. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go to YouTube gaming just because, like, more people relevantly get big on YouTube gaming. And, you know, that, that's what I want. I want to, like, like, make videos and stream, but not just for myself and only for myself. I want to make videos for you guys. Because, yeah, I actually do genuinely enjoy doing it. And anyway, speaking of enjoyment, this Conan Seg, oh. And I'm really happy that they didn't give it, like, a centrifugal gearbox like the Agar RS does, because I would drive the Agar RS around more often if, one, it could actually turn without having to tune it, and two, if every time you floored it, it didn't just go, dee 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 Like, the frickin', the frickin' transmission that thing is so annoying to listen to. And I don't get why it has one and this car doesn't. Like, they're the same car. It's just one way is different, and it's tuned way more for top speed, and this one's tuned to be a all-around better car. Otherwise, I think they use the same everything, like the same body, the same, the same chassis, same engine, same transmission, same everything. Like the only difference that I noticed directly is the freaking cluster and the interior, but that's about it. But anyway, this car is so good to drive. I'm surprised it actually handles in the snow this good. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I thought this thing was gonna be a mess. But it actually takes two snowy roads pretty well. But I mean, can can it really be told that? it It is a Swiss-made car. So, I mean, there is a lot of snow in Swiss, so that does make a lot of sense. And yeah, sorry, because uh, when I look over at OBS, I'm noticing a lot of frame drop. And that's because I'm not using my secondary PC to record this as if my gaming PC is an Xbox and like I'm still doing it that way. Yeah, I'm just doing the screen capture because my audio, like, it's getting to that point of where I don't even want to listen to it when I record because all you hear in the background is a stupid buzzing noise. So yeah, I figured I'll try the two next videos I make on screen capture off the gaming PC and just see how it turns out. And I mean, if it turns out better, I'll record off my own PC and just use my secondary PC to stream because that's, like, the one other purpose I could think of it. Because recording, like what, I've been recording for probably a half hour total now, including the last video I put up and this one, so really I'm not putting stress on it at all. It's just when I go to play for, like, six hour streams, yeah, it's gonna put a lot of stress on it that I might as well throw on another PC. So this one can perform in its max performance without having to worry about a stream. But yeah, just look at this car! I want to use it so much! Next next online race I do, and if it's S2 for Piper cars, I am picking this car. I'm going to kick everyone's ass. I don't care what they're in. Everyone shall bow before the one-to-one. -one. I think my one-to-one -one in Horizon 3, if I remember, because it's the one I did the 100 laps in the Goliath in Horizon 3, so keep in mind, it's a much bigger Goliath than the one in this game because it's mainly straightaways. I think that one-to-one -one had like 300,000 miles on it, or like near 400,000 miles on it. Like, that's, that's how much I drove my one-to-one. -one. Like, seriously, if, like all my other cars, they probably have like a couple thousand miles on them, like maybe three, five. But literally, my Conan Seg has more miles on it than most freaking diesel trucks. And that's literally just because of the Goliath. Because literally, like, I could top this thing out, like, every time, and... I mean, yeah, it did make a lot of sense, because, like, sure, the map in this game is much bigger, but the Goliath is much shorter than it really could be. Actually, no, the maps are the same size, it's just that in Horizon 3, it was all just mainly straights, like, it would literally just be like a giant circle around the map, and you could put it to 100 instead of 50. Because, yeah, I think the max you could do in this game is 50, like, you can do 100, which I'm kind of annoyed about, because when I did the Goliath, I wanted to do 100, not just 50. But, I mean, still, they paid out about the same, so, like, I mean, what, I would have had 14 million dollars? Oh, boy.
But anyway, I guess that's going to conclude this episode. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back in the next episode. I'm out. Peace.